Hello, my friends. My name is Steph Turner Buzio, uh, but my students call me Miss Steph. And I am the performing arts teacher at Whittier Elementary. Go Wildcats! Today I am uh, making this video in my makeshift studio in my living room right here in the heart of West Woodland. Um, you might hear some clinking in the background, and that's probably my dog, Sylvie. She might want to join the video, too. She is feeling a little delicate these days, and I think that a lot of us are, which is why I wanted to do this lesson with you today. This is a lesson that is going to talk about what it means to be an actor and how we can use our bodies and our facial expressions to show that we're playing a character or showing an emotion with a character. All you need for this lesson today is an open space to move in, your awesome listening ears, and a very active imagination. Do you have all those things? That's great. Then put on your actor hats and let's get ready. We're going to start building characters today. And, you know, lots of times a character can be built, like I said, with your facial expression and your body. But we also sometimes use our voices to, to build a character. Now, you see, if I change my facial expression, and I change the way that my body looks, and I change my voice, then I'm not Miss Steph anymore. I'm grumpy grandma. You kids get off my lawn. See? Now you try, try it with me. First, change your facial expression. Show that you're grumpy. And then take your very young bodies and crunch them up a little bit so they get a little bit older looking. Maybe you want to slouch down a little bit. Maybe hunch your shoulders. You can even pretend to walk with a cane if you want. And then I want you to change your voice and stick that grumpy grandma or grandpa finger out and say, you kids get off my lawn. You did it. See how much fun that is. Today, we're going to use this book called Today I Feel Silly. And this is gonna help us start our character work. Now, I'm gonna read the book and we're gonna use some of these feelings in the book to make frozen statues with our bodies. So today, we can make these statues either sitting down or standing up. That's totally and completely up to you. However much room you need to be able to show an emotion with your body and start building that characters. I'm sure that some of you are experiencing some really big feelings right now. And I think that all of us are. And that's why I chose this book. Because what we have to understand is that not all people experience feelings in the same way. And sometimes, we have to be really good social detectives to try to figure out what someone is really feeling because humans are tricky. It's hard sometimes. For example, has anyone ever felt so angry that you start to cry? Yeah. Or how about feeling so embarrassed that you start to giggle or you get really angry? Do you see what I mean? Humans are super tricky. They could feel one way, but show that emotion a different way. And today, when we make our frozen statues of our feelings, I want you to use, to show the way that you show that feeling and you show that emotion. It might be somebody, something totally different than someone else in your family. But for right now, I want you to show how you show that emotion. Are you ready? Today I Feel Silly and Other Moods That Make My Day by Jamie Lee Curtis and illustrated by Laura Cornell, published by Joanna Coulter Books, 
an imprint of HarperCollins Publisher. Today I feel silly. Mom says it's the heat. I put rouge on the cat and gloves on my feet. I ate noodles for breakfast and pancakes at night. I dressed like a star and was quite a sight. Can you show me your best silly statue? I'm gonna go ahead and count backwards from three. And when I do, I want you to make your silliest face and the silliest shape with your body that you possibly can. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze. I'm not sure if I look silly or angry, but I'm gonna just go with silly. Today my mood's bad. I feel grumpy and mean. I picked up my room. It still isn't clean. I forgot to feed Franny and water the fern and the cocoa I'm making is starting to burn. Could you show me a frozen statue of Grumpy? Now remember, this will be on the lower part of the mood meter. So this will be in the lower part of red. So you're not quite furious, but you're a little bit cringy or grumpy. Ready? Just like Grumpy Grandma. Three, two, one, freeze. Today I am angry. You better stay clear. My face is all pinched and red ear to ear. My friends had a play date. They left me out. My feelings are hurt. I want to shout. Could everybody show me a frozen statue of what it would look like if you're feeling angry? But then she says her feelings are hurt too. So your statue might look like you're sad. What do you look like when your feelings get hurt? Show me. Three, two, one, freeze. Today I am joyful. My mood is first rate. My friend's sleeping over. She says she can't wait. My freckles are popping. The sun is so bright. I ran in the relay with all of my might. This one's kind of hard because it's a long, see? <laughs> Today I'm confused. My life's getting hairy. Sam says he's my boyfriend, but he also likes Mary. My mom told my father he might be a dad. I might get a brother. I'm not sure I'm glad. Woo! What does your face look like when you're feeling confused? Confused. Three, two, three. One. Hmm. Today I'm quiet. My mom understands. She gave me two ice creams and then we held hands. We went to the movies and then had a bite. I cried just a little and then felt all right. <gasps> Today I'm excited. There's so much to do. I'm going to sell cookies and lemonade too. I started a club to go clean up the park and I've got a big crush on my teacher named Mark. Can you show me your best frozen statue of excited? What does your face look like? What does your body look like? Is it big? Is it small? What does your body look like when it is excited? And freeze. Today I'm cranky, so nothing seems right. I have diarrhea and broke my new kite. Mom dyed her hair orange. My dad shaved his beard. My tooth came in crooked. This family is weird. Today I'm lonely. I feel so small. My auntie's away. I wish that she'd call. My mom's working late. And my dad has the flu. And although I've got stuff, I've got nothing to do. What do you look like when you're feeling lonely or a little bored? Show me with your face first. Then show me with your body.
today I'm happy. I'm walking on air. I learned how to knit and to French braid my hair. I did my first solo in hip hop and jazz. This day's been so great. I'm full of pizzazz. What do you look like when you are full of pizzazz? Show me with your face. Three, two, one, freeze. And then show me with your body. Three, two, one, freeze. <laughs> pizzazz. Today I'm discouraged and frustrated. See, I tried rollerblading and fell on my knee. I really want straight hair, but mine's curly Q. Should I cut it or grow it? Ah, what should I do? We're all gonna have some hair problems late, I'm telling you, sooner than later. Today I'm sad. My mood's heavy and gray. There's a frown on my face and it's been there all day. My best friend and I had a really big fight. She said that I tattled and I know that she's right. So she might be feeling sad because her and her friend had a fight, but she's also probably feeling pretty bad about telling on her friend and tattling. What does your face look like when you feel bad about something? Maybe you're thinking about it a lot. Maybe your shoulders slump a little bit. Yeah. Today, my mood's great. It's the absolute best. I rode a two-wheeler and passed my math test. I played soccer at recess and we won the game. I sang in the show and my parents both came. <gasps> what do you look like when your mood is first rate? Three, two, one, show me something super confident when you're feeling confident because you're singing in a show. Ready? Maybe your chin is way up or your chest is out high. Let's I'd rather feel silly, excited, or glad than grumpy or cranky, discouraged or sad. But moods are just something that happen each day Whatever I'm feeling inside is okay. The end. And that's important to remember that whatever you are feeling inside is okay. We just have to remember that when we're feeling sad or anxious or cranky, that we don't keep it to ourselves. And it's important to talk to somebody about that. And like I said, if you can't say it with your words, you could say it with a frozen statue. You can act out your own character and how that character might feel that same emotion. But just remember, everybody, we're here to take care of each other. And whatever you're feeling inside is okay, just like they say in the book. Please remember, wash your hands, take care of yourselves. I'm going to sing the going away song that I sing for my wildcat friends at Whittier. You ready? Goodbye, friends. We'll read together again. Until then, don't drive your grown-ups crazy. Okay? See you soon.